Ah, the joys of working for a micromanaging CT CEO. It's like having a backseat driver constantly nagging you about your every move. Now don't get me wrong here. It's great to have a boss who cares about the details, but when they start breathing down your neck every five minutes, it can be hard to get anything done, let alone maintain your sanity. If you're nodding in agreement right now, don't worry, you're not alone. In fact, we've put together this video specifically for tech executives who are struggling with a micromanaging CEO. We'll show you how to navigate those tricky waters without losing your mind or your job. So grab a cup of coffee or something stronger and sit back and let's dive in because life is too short to work for someone who thinks they know everything, even if they do sign your paycheck. Hi, I'm Mike Mahoney, and in this video, we will discuss some strategies to deal with a CEO who doesn't know much about technology, but still wants to micromanage. Now, it's not uncommon for CEOs to have limited knowledge of technology and still want to be involved in every decision. I'm all for transparency and open communication, but when your boss is constantly second guessing your decisions, it can be frustrating to say the least. As tech executives, we know what we're doing. We've got this. So when our bosses start breathing down our necks and questioning every decision we make, it can feel like we're back in middle school trying to prove ourselves to our parents. But fear not, with a few simple strategies and maybe a deep breath or two, you can learn how to navigate these choppy waters and come out on top. So let's dive in and show those micromanagers what we're made of. All right. Look, we get it. It's easy to assume that your micromanaging CEO is just a control freak who gets off on making your life miserable. But before you start plotting their downfall, consider this. Maybe they just don't understand the technology as well as you do. Surprise, surprise, think about it. If you were in their shoes, wouldn't you wanna make sure everything was done right, even if that meant getting a little too involved sometimes? So, instead of assuming the worst, try to educate your boss on why certain decisions are being made. Show them how the technology works and explain why it's important. Who knows? Maybe they'll even come around to your way of thinking. Now, at the end of the day, we're all just trying to do our jobs and make our companies successful. So let's give our bosses the benefit of the doubt, even if it means biting our tongues from time to time. If you're tired of feeling like your CEO is breathing down your neck, we've got a solution for you. What's the answer? Communication. Yep, that's right. And talking to your boss like an actual human being can work wonders. But we get it. Sometimes it's hard to know what to say or how to say it. And that's where top tier coaching services PACE framework comes in. This bad boy will help you structure your conversations with your micromanaging CEO so that they're productive and effective. No more stammering or awkward silences, just clear communication and mutual understanding. So next time, when you find yourself wanting to scream back off at your boss, take a deep breath and remember the power of communication. And if you need a little extra help, give the PACE framework a try. Your sanity and maybe even your job will thank you. So what is the PACE framework? Well, it's like a cape for your team, empowering them to take control and get things done. What does PACE stand for, you ask? Persistence, accountability, control, and effectiveness. All things you'll achieve when you implement the system. Now, we know what you're thinking. Where can I learn this magical framework? Well, it's only from the best of the best, my friends. That's right. Top Tier Coaching Services is the only place to go if you want to unlock the full potential of PACE. So don't wait any longer. Reach out to us today and start creating some serious transparency and maybe even some superpowers in your company. We've got a secret weapon for dealing with those micromanaging CEOs that make your life a living hell. And no, it's not a stun gun, although we wouldn't blame you if you tried. It's something much simpler, yet equally effective, explaining technical concepts in layman's terms and providing regular updates on progress. 
Think about it. Your CEO is probably freaking out because they don't understand what the hell you're doing. They're like an alien trying to decipher human code, which might explain why they're so overbearing. But fear not, by breaking down complex technical concepts into simple language that even your grandma could understand, you'll be able to put your CEO's mind at ease and show them that you know what you're doing. And don't forget about the power of regular updates. Your CEO wants to feel in control, even if they take it too far. So keeping them in the loop will make them feel like they're part of the team instead of just hovering over it. Not simple, really. Just follow this approach and watch the magic happen. By building trust and demonstrating your expertise, you will be able to make those pesky CEO interruptions a thing of the past. I know what you're thinking. How do I build trust and demonstrate my expertise? Well, my friend, that's where the real magic happens. You see, it's all about showing your CEO that you know what you're doing, even if they don't always understand what it is that you do. By approaching them with confidence and clarity using language they can actually understand, you'll be able to prove that you're the expert in the room. And once they see that you've got everything under control, they're going to stop bothering you. If you want to survive in the wild world of corporate tech, there's one thing you absolutely need to do. Set clear boundaries with your CEO. Now I know what you're thinking. Won't that make them mad? Won't it hurt our relationship? Quite the contrary, my friend. Setting boundaries is actually a key to a healthy and productive relationship with your CEO. And no, we're not talking about putting up barbed wire. Think about it. If you don't set boundaries, your CEO will think they can ask for anything and everything at any time. They'll be like a kid in a candy store. Except, instead of candy, they want updates on every single project under the sun. By setting clear boundaries and expectations from the get-go, you will be able to establish a more respectful and efficient working relationship. Your CEO will know exactly what they can and cannot ask for and when. That means less stress for you and fewer headaches for them. So the next time your CEO starts asking for the moon and starts, or worse yet, trying to micromanage every little detail, remember this simple rule. Set Clear boundaries equals happy CEO plus a happy life. It may not solve all of your problems. We still can't fix that darn coffee machine, but hey, it's a start. Now, let's discuss one of the most important and often overlooked aspects of your job, educating your CEO about technology and its role in the company. You're thinking, my CEO is already a genius. They don't need me to explain anything. Well, I hate to break it to you, but even the smartest CEO can benefit from a little tech education. We won't tell them if you won't. Think about this. Technology is at the heart of everything we do these days, from communication and collaboration to marketing and sales. It's all powered by tech. And if your CEO doesn't understand how it all works, or worse yet, thinks they know when they really don't, things can get messy real fast. That's why it's up to us as tech executives to educate our CEOs about the latest and greatest in tech. We need to show them how technology can help drive growth, streamline processes, and improve customer experiences. And most importantly, we need to do it in a way that they can actually understand. No jargon allowed. So the next time your CEO starts asking questions about AI or blockchain or whatever newfangled thing has caught their eye, Take a deep breath and remember this simple rule. Educate equals elevate. By educating your CEO about technology, you'll be able to elevate their understanding and hopefully reduce those pesky interruptions. It may not solve all your problems, but hey, it's a start. So in conclusion, dealing with a micromanaging CEO can be challenging, but it's important to remember that their behavior may stem from a lack of understanding rather than malice. By communicating effectively, setting boundaries, and educating the CEO about technology, you can establish trust and focus on delivering results. Now, if you got value from this video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so you'll always be notified when new videos come out from top-tier coaching services. Mm -hmm.